What if I told you that the real issue isn't your thermostat at all but something else entirely in your HVAC system? This common issue is typically an easy fix. So, let's get into how you can fix these reboot issues with your Ecobee thermostat. First, ensure your furnace is safe to work on. Turn off the power by flipping the switch usually found on or near your furnace. If you don't have a switch, head to your breaker box and turn off the furnace's breaker. For gas furnaces, make sure to also shut off the gas. Next, remove the front panel of your furnace to access the internals. Look for the overheat sensor, which is typically easy to identify and secured with a couple of screws. Here's the key part. If you use ultrasonic humidifiers like I do, they can emit a white dust that coats the sensor, hampering its function. Gently wipe the sensor with a clean cloth. If there's any hardened or burnt-on residue, use a soft brush to carefully remove it without damaging the sensor. Avoid using anything as harsh as a wire brush. Once the sensor is clean, reattach the sensor and the panel. Turn everything back on and observe if the furnace and thermostat function without shutting down. Make it a yearly habit to clean this sensor to prevent future issues. Next, if your thermostat keeps rebooting particularly when it switches to auxiliary heat, the problem might be with your furnace's power supply to the thermostat. The auxiliary heat can cause significant power fluctuations that disrupt the thermostat's functioning. To stabilize the power supply, you might need a more robust transformer. Ensure that your new power supply can deliver at least 12 volts and 500 MA to the RHRC pins on your thermostat. This upgrade should provide a steady power flow and prevent the thermostat from rebooting during AUX heat cycles. If the problem persists, it may be time to consult with a professional. I hope this helps you as much as it helped me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below if you have any questions.